All right, inscribed angles. So we've done central angles, right? And when we did central angles, the vertex was where? In the center of the circle. That's why it's called central. Okay, inscribed angles is an angle, its vertex is on the circle, okay, and its sides are chords. So our inscribed angle here would be A, B, C. Vertex is on the circle, that's B, and then my chords are A, B, and B, C, right? The intercepted arc is the arc that lies between the endpoints of the inscribed angle. So the intercepted arc in this case would be AC. Okay? The degree of the inscribed angle is equal to half the measure of the intercepted arc. Okay, so ABC is going to be one half the measure of arc AC. Okay, if an inscribed angle intercepts a diameter, then it is a what kind of angle? Right, so let's look at this. If it intercepts a diameter, how many degrees is this arc? 180. So the angle is half of that. So it's what kind of an angle? Right angle. Because half of 80 is, or half of 180 is 90, yeah. So the measure of angle BAC is 90 degrees. Right? And then if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then the angles are going to be equal. Okay, so ABD is this angle right here, right? And so this is my arc that ABD intercepts. Is there another angle that goes with that arc? What other angle goes with that arc? ACD, yep. Okay, because that angle intercepts that arc, and so does that ABD. They both end up intercepting that same arc. Does that make sense? All right, so let's talk a little bit about some of these. A little more excitement. So if I'm going arc to angle, I do what? Divide by two, yep. So if I'm on arc to angle, I'm going to divide by two. So WXY is going to be 31. Okay. Number two, if I'm on angle to arc, what do I do? you got to multiply by 2. So number 2, I'm going angle to arc, so my arc is 226, yep. Alright, so they want PQR. PQR intercepts a what? Diameter, so that makes it how many degrees? All right, so then it's going to make you start thinking a little bit. So now, be careful what they ask you for. Okay, they want BC. So first, do we know AB is 180, right? AC is going to be 94, yeah, because we're going angle to arc, so we got to multiply by 2. So that leaves what left over for BC? 86, 180 minus 94, right? 
Alright, so in 5, if that's 65 and that's 53, what's this big old arc right here? 242? So 360 minus 65 minus 53. So if my arc's 242, what's my angle? 121, trying to divide by 2. Okay, and then we'll arc to angle. Arc to angle, we divide by 2. Alright, so they want RST, which is this angle right here. Correct? Okay, well, what do we have for that arc? What do we have left over for that arc? 80 what? 82, because we had to go 360, minus 64, minus 139, minus 75. So we have 82 left. RST is going to be 41. And then RUT. Is this one, does that intercept the same arc? So that one also has to be 41. Sometimes I find it helpful to extend mine out there so that I can kind of see what arc it is. It's kind of up to you guys how you want to do that. All right, so now. We're going to have to do some solving. So if my arc's 158, what's my angle going to be? How much? 79, because we had to divide by 2, right? So then 8x minus 9 is going to equal 79. So 8x equals... 88x is 11. Okay, we're not going to make us solve all of these, but I do want to set up a lot of them. Okay, if my angle is 67, what's my arc going to equal? So 4x plus 58 equals 1. Does everybody see where we got 134 from? Okay. This one, what is 13x minus 9 going to equal? Or 13x minus 1 going to equal 90 because it intercepts a diameter. So my arc was 180. So my angle is going to be 90. All right. Friend. Anybody want to take a stab at 10? What we have to do first? Okay, you could do that. Okay. Or, do we know this arc? We know this arc so we can find this angle as well, which gives us. So that angle is 39. This angle has to be 60. How would we find it? There you go. 180 minus 114 minus 39 gives us 27 for that angle. Okay, uh, look at 12. This arc is 120. This angle is 62, so what's this arc? Yeah, that angle is 67, so the arc is 134. So that leaves what left over for that arc? 106. So that 5x. 
These are the ones that I think are a little bit harder to set up. Okay, 13. So it tells us the angle is 6x plus 21. The arc is 17x minus 28. Okay. How do you want to set this up? We know that the arc is... How much of the angle? Huh? Double the angle. So let's double the angle. So two times our angle is going to equal our arc. Okay? So we have to distribute. So I get 12x plus. 42 equals 17x minus 28. 5x equals 70. So x is 14. So if I want f, j, h, I gotta plug it in there, right? 17 times 14. Minus 28, I get 210. So far, so good. Okay, so if my angle is 5x minus 16 and my arc is 12x minus 50, how are we setting it up? Two times what? My art, my angle equals my art. I could take 5x minus 16 equals half of my art. Okay? But then you're dealing with fractions, and we all know how much you love fractions. <laughs> I know. Okay, so far so good. If we look at ABD, angle ABD is this angle, right? And ADC, A, no, ACD. These two, both of the angles intercept the, what? What's the arc that both of them intercept? They both intercept the same arc, right? Okay, and so if they intercept the same arc, what do I know about the two angles? They're going to be equal to each other. So 6x plus 26 is going to equal 13x minus 9. Okay, remember that one. That one's kind of fun. Okay, it says KJL is 3x plus 2, and KLJ is 7x minus 32. Those two angles are going to do what? They're not going to be equal to each other. Okay, so what's this angle? What's this angle? This angle's 90, so these two angles have to do what? No, because that would give me 360 for my triangle. Guys, what are three angles of a triangle? You guys, I'm going to pull up popsicle sticks because you guys are staring at me. They equal 90, yes. Okay, because the three angles of a triangle add up to what? 180 degrees. Okay, so those, I would have to go 3x. Plus 2, plus 7x minus 32, equals 180. Okay? 
And then we need to talk about if I have quadrilaterals. Okay? In a quadrilateral, opposite angles are supplementary. What's that mean? They add up to 180. So that means angle. Give me an angle. A plus angle C is going to equal 180. And what are my two other two angles that are going to equal 180? Angle what? B plus angle C equals 180. Okay, so anytime you have a quadrilateral, those guys, your opposite angles are going to be add up to 180. So angle J is going to be